Welcome to Steph Reacts. I am going to react to the Kelly Kickback Podcast, where we have a special guest known as the greatest of all time roaster, Craig Smith. He will be talking about relationships and roast me. But before we begin, did you know your fact, your daily fact, that the world's smallest mammal is a bumblebee bat? Google it because they say that they have a wingspan between 0.5 to 0.7 ounces. Thank you. Let's go. Sometimes they be on point. No, no, they, 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 <laughs> the yeah. comments will bring up awareness. Of the like, God damn, I'm, really, I'm projecting that. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, that nigga look like he been hungry. Like I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Why that nigga left eye twitch so much? <laughs> <laughs> like damn, y'all niggas. Hey <laughs> man, we live in action. Yo, talking about is the Kelly kickback. Why that nigga lips chat? Yo, talking about God. Lewis Belt, Teddy Ray. And we got motherfucking Craig Smith in the motherfucking hey. building. Craig Smith! God, 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 me? God! Roast me king. Get it from God. Hey. You know? If I owe you, nigga, don't get it from me. Get it from God. Oh, you something. You can get it from God, nigga. What made you say that? Like A the bitch. First... <laughs> A dog head funky bitch. <laughs> Shout out to the pimp homie Silky. A dog head dad. <laughs> A stomp down toe back alien head bitch. <laughs> No, I'm fucking with you. I just <laughs> pictured the predator right now. I was just wanting something. Man, you know what was going on was you ever deal with somebody that ain't really completely living in reality, and yeah, they expect I deal with niggas like that all day. Right. So what the so what what was going on with the woman was she was ex I was doing everything I could mm -hmm. to make her feel great about herself, mm -hmm. and nothing was working. Was you like nice guy in there? Like I'll uh, buy your old clothes. Okay, I would. I, I, I been, cook I, your <laughs> dinner. Here's the thing, fellas. Here's the thing. It isn't your responsibility to make somebody happy. Well, it is in a way, but you cannot force anyone to be happy. It has to be the partner, the individual. They have to be happy with themselves. Then you can be be able to make the person happy there's a saying that says if you do not love yourself how could you love somebody else so with craig situation we're always past whatever you cannot force anyone to be happy <laughs> i've been that nigga when i was like yeah. 19 20 a bitch gave me a christmas list with like 29 things i got 27. <laughs> <laughs> And it felt bad it about the no last time. There was no pivot in me, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's hella funny. Straight up, Damn. man. You had chicken like that? Or you, you no, I had chicken. You I spit your last on that ass. Oh, man. You know I had chicken, man. You she know? knew it. She was like, ooh, I want, I want everything. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, I did that, man. I was a fool. A fool Nigga, for all love. All that sharper image. Damn. Yeah, yeah man. And, uh, so it was something similar. Okay, so I learned from the gift buying thing early. Mm-hmm. But it was the equivocal to it, just an emotionality. You know, when you deal with a chicken, mm -hmm. you allow her to base your relationship mood and emotion on how she feel. Mm -hmm. You're going to always put yourself in the position where you got to tell the bitch to get it from God. Mm -hmm. So me and this bitch arguing. You ever, you ever been one, on one with a bitch for a few days? Like, you, it, when she call, you look at the phone and you're like, Ugh. You know what I'm saying? So, so we just kept back and forth with the bullshit for like a week. The only reason you picked up is because it's, it's a male over there. You right. Yeah. So now I'm on the phone. We like capping. My check just landed, bitch. <laughs> I, I, I know it's over there. I'm mad at you, though. Hell yeah. I ain't never let a check touch uh, no other house. A check? A check? I was couch surfing for a minute. I had mail going down <laughs> to other places. <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's common. <laughs> don't let these people make it like they don't be doing that. I'm Man, I was couch surfing for God is good. I don't serve God. my own couch. <laughs> you ain't never been a sucker for a broad, Lou? Mm mm. Wow. I'm, and I'm not lying. I'm not I'm not trying uh, to come off that way. But um I think I'm so I think he's lying because everyone has to go through something in, in order to learn. So I don't think I'm sure if somebody that really broke his heart because it's something that she did. But even 
even our gentlemen here are um, listening in. Let me know in the comments below if you ever been in a situation where you felt you felt like you was played in the end. Let me know. I, I love hard, so I've been stingy with my love. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't been trying to open up to a bitch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because of, I don't know, probably fear. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. like motherfuckers that's been heartbroken and shit be open because they've been heartbroken. It's kind of like, yeah. Yeah. That's you stick. know? It's like a motherfucker be like, you ever been shot? Like, nah, I ain't been shot. I ain't trying to get shot. I ain't got no yeah. interest in it. Yeah, you know what's cold about that? Yeah, it's like, you ever been heartbroken? Sure like, nah, shot. I'm not trying to. Man, it's <laughs> never happened. Nah. uh So you have? What, a trick? Been heart broke. Heart broke? Yeah, Bible. I've been let down. I ain't, a bitch ain't never took my whole day away from me. Like, awesome emotions. Man, what's awesome. the difference from heartbroken and let down? Because okay, I've been disappointed in a few bitches. Okay, let me ask you a question. That's what I'm saying, let down. Like, you ever been messing with her? I thought she was going to ride harder. And when y'all stop, you miss her, and you feel it in your chest? No. Like, where you could physically feel it, like, God damn, this motherfucker, she's still inside my heart. I feel you, because that's what all the R&B songs be talking about, and I be feeling that shit like I've been through something. Hey, man. But this I nigga Christopher it. Williams, for real, nigga. Man, I No, they be honest. I, nah, think I, sure. I know it's going to happen to me eventually, so I'm not finna speak on it like, Nah, I was going to guarantee having, but nigga, you ain't nobody above from getting their heart broke, nigga. That's why I yeah. be protecting my shit. Yeah. Bitch, you ain't finna break my heart, bitch. You break my shit, it's over. <laughs> 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 bitch, you Damn. break my heart, I'm a demon for life, nigga. I'm... So y'all never told a woman that she was fucking that you love her? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And you meant it? I think, I, th I thought I did. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and when I said it, I felt it, nigga. <laughs> But then yeah. looking back on it, I was like, I shouldn't have said that shit. Or yeah. we'll be in a different space right now. You yeah, know, like, yeah. I, when I say I love you, nigga, I want that shit to be to my wife. But you got to understand, the, you you older than us, too, though. Yeah. So, so the almost, mother of my kids. Almost, I just turned 28 type shit. Yeah, and talk about how you we niggas can't, used to really write love letters back in the day. Well, yeah. I it wrote, took a little bit yeah. of a time to, mm. like. It took effort, nigga. I Knock remember, a bitch back in the day. Man, you used to have to, I remember you used to have to write a bitch's phone number on a piece of paper. Yes. You used to have to find a pen, find mm. a piece of paper. Sometimes you couldn't find either one, and you had to memorize it. You know what I'm saying? And we would, I remember I, I had 10 numbers off memory. You know, you know what I mean? What you, what you was focused on in your early 20s? Because uh, I remember one day you see me, you was like, Lou, I'm proud of you. I, I like how you move. I wish I was thinking how you was thinking when I was your age. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, I appreciate it, but shit. Was, what you was doing, nigga? Man, I was trying to get rich. <laughs> The best way I could, you know what I'm saying? I was taking. Nigga, I was, I'm, <laughs> nigga, I've been trying to get rich since I was a kid. Yeah, but you, you can't mistake activity for progress, and that's what I was doing. I was doing hella shit that was making bread, mm -hmm. but it wasn't really progressing me in life. It was just filling a, a materialistic void. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Comedy, I always been funny. Mm -hmm. If I would have been hustling right younger, I could, I would be way further right now. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I mean by I wasn't. I, I was I was focused like y'all when I was y'all age. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what. One thing hit me with Craig said, activity does not mean, well, productivity. Whatever he said, I felt it. <laughs> Whatever he said, I felt it because just because you're busy, does, that doesn't mean you're going to get progress, you know? I really felt that. But I be thinking about like That's Eddie Murphy game. and shit. When niggas just started at like fourteen, uh -huh. like I was, I just started thinking about comedy when I was in high school. Like, Man. nah, I'm glad. I feel like I, I'm <laughs> glad I wasn't no comedian in high school. <laughs> I think if I wasn't a comedian, if I was like on some chasing a dream in high school and shit, I'd have fucked up this comedian shit. For real, I did all my bad shit. I think that's why another reason why I ain't been like really like on some. Uh, lovey dovey shit. I I've been loving comedy since yeah. I was eighteen. Like once I found something to do, yeah, I ran with it type shit. You know what's crazy? I wish I, I thought my been... bad shit out the window. Man, I wish I was like you. Cause look, when I was twelve, I met Jamie Fox. Damn, that's wrong. I was in this. You said that like that's that nigga real was LA on the verge shit. of no, I, spent, I spent the whole day with the dude. Damn, that's right. He... Yeah. R. Kelly Jones. No, 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 no. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shout out to Jamie. I ain't seen him since. But uh no, I'm sorry. I, have. Shout I spent out to the Jamie. whole day with Jamie when I was twelve. Well nigga, how'd that happen? So I was in this program this, Make a this wish. program at the church and the leader the the youth pastor, his best friend was a writer on a living color. Damn. 
And I was nigga, I was like bad. So they was like, if you get your grades up, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to have my boy take you up to a Living Color and introduce you to the cast. Wow. And at the time, a Living Color was like the most, Yeah. you know what I mean? So I got my grades up from D's and C's to A's and B's. Yeah. So he really took me up there, me yeah. and my boy Dion. And when we got there, we got there in the morning. My boy Dion went with David Allen Greer and and basically shadowed him for a whole eight hours. And I was with Jamie Foxx. Wow. wow. Yeah, we was just bagging on each other and uh -huh. cracking jokes. Like, we had a good time. He was really he was a good dude. Damn, man. that's raw. And I should have been on it then. Like, oh, I could be a comedian, but yeah. I never thought, you know, I never thought that that was something that you could actually do. But, Me you neither. know, shit like that happens for a reason. Like, you needed that story. You needed that motivation. Like, everything... You needed to do what you did after, you know. Right, right. All of that money chasing. Everything happened for a reason to make you where you at today. For sure. Straight up. You know, so for don't sure. look at it like, oh, I should have, you know. Even though we should, I mean, we do be looking at life like, oh, man, if I would have did this earlier, if I would have been on that. Sometimes you got to look at it like this. The experience we have in life, it can make us into a better person we will be in the future so i do agree with teddy oh i wish i'd have been on bitcoin when it first <laughs> type shit, you know yeah, like yeah. that's real shit, we though. always you know want to be somewhere where we living in southern california how did you feel like like um like being a comedian wasn't a thought because there's so many successful comedians out here and yeah. you didn't met like like you said you didn't see jamie fox and shit like that it's kind of like why did why did you didn't think like shit? I could be a comedian. You know what I think for me because I didn't know any comedians. Oh okay. You know I knew regular type people, truck drivers. Yeah. You know, motherfuckers <laughs> with a bachelor's degree. <laughs> but I never met nobody that did comedy. Like I never, I never growing up, I never remember somebody like, come on, we going to Daryl stand up show. Yeah. I don't remember that. I remember going, you know, hooping and you know regular everyday Nigga shit. shit. Yeah. So I, you know. But yeah, so I guess it was just my environment, nigga. I just uh, I know hella niggas that was trying to be rappers. Yeah, <laughs> but comedy wasn't. Even, I was embarrassed to tell my family. You was too when I started. Comedy. You were Me yeah, too. I was yeah, embarrassed. I, was. I didn't tell my mom or dad. I, I had lied. to find out. I told yeah. niggas I was going to the store when I went fuck to my open mic. <laughs> you said you went. To, you said you was. You I was I'm going to the store right quick. I'll be back. What? Why you feel like we feel that way? Felt that way at the time. Nigga, who want to open their wings up and they don't work, nigga, in front of people? You be like, right. nigga, I, fi I finally got my wings, nigga. I'm finna fly, nigga. Right. Hold on, nigga. I just hit the tree. Yeah, I just hit the, hit the top of this car. So Some niggas fly on that first time. Some niggas hit the top of the car. I hit the top of the car. Yeah. I did both. I hit the top of the car and flew into the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> How was over. your first performance? I murdered. I just bagged on people. I always been a super bagger. Uh huh. I just bagged in my second show. I bombed. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, in my second show. I bombed. My shit was the reverse. My first my, show. I bombed. My second show. I did me way too. better. My first show was ass. Second <laughs> show went dumb. Yeah, yeah. On oh, my mama. Yeah, to man. Damn. So what did? So how did you bomb the second time? You trying to tell a set? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I didn't even know about a set. Uh, I just went up there with no jokes. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to come up. <laughs> And just be that nigga. Because <laughs> that's what I did the first time. You know what I mean? So how did it go when you walked those things? I Man, I just remember it was... Where was you at? I was in Corona. In a AD, you know AD? Yeah. He had a room at like a golf course. Oh, no. Nah. It was all white people. I, I murdered white crowds most of the time. But early, I just I had no idea. And I just started bagging. Hey, you can't, white people don't re react well to bagging. No. Yeah. It seems it's weird. Disturbing. Like you can't just be look, look at this old uh, <laughs> spot and brown white bitch in the I was front. Like for white people when I started. Really? Well, I ain't never was in a crowd of white people and made their ass laugh. I was yeah. hanging around niggas, so it's like niggas started <laughs> Oakland niggas. <laughs> hey, hey. So I'm like, boy, like I never. White, I was fearful of white people for a long time, <laughs> bro. But my mom also performing because I'm like. They not gonna understand what I'm saying. I I tell jokes like <laughs> try to be like relatable. Yeah. I don't tell like made up shit. I tell yeah. shit like, boy, don't you hate when you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, how the fuck they gonna feel me? So I was fearful. 
For sure. So you wasn't yeah. fearful. You had confidence. Yeah, I was an athlete. And then, you know, because I was a good athlete growing up, mm-hmm. I always went to the schools that was more diverse. Mm-hmm. That had the better teams, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, you know, I was in high school with white folks and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Even though my growing up where I grew up, it wasn't a lot. But, you know, I always, that was easy. My thing was old black women. Really? Oh, yeah. Because my mom. Uh-huh. And I don't cuss in front of my mom or say crazy shit in front of my mom. So You see him and you get psyched. I'm like, that's Donna I'm right out. there, nigga. Yeah. I can't, that's Donna. I can't talk about pussy in front of Donna. I'd have been like, I'd have seen the crowd. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I used to go right in front of the crowd. Old black people, <laughs> dick pussy. You know, I got yeah. my dick, woo woo. <laughs> they laughing, but yeah. I had to. I had a bad thing. I had to slow down. I used to call the crowd old. Hell, <laughs> so I thought I was eighteen. So yeah. it's like I get on stop. Be like, damn, y'all old as a motherfucker. Niggas in that bitch thirty eight. Like, hold on, like, <laughs> yeah. that was not fucking with that shit. Oh, I had to learn to use different terminology. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Mature crowd in this yeah. motherfucking <laughs> shit like that. Grown as grown as yeah. yeah. shit. Like, I used to be like, y'all hell old in this motherfucker. It's just something for the lovers. <laughs> Something for the lovers. Who grew up in the 80s? You got to do shit like that. That's some funny ass shit. Who grew up in the 80s? <laughs> Where my 90s babies at? Oh, yeah, that's that guy. So when you, when you bombed, what'd you do? You got on stage hella fast? No, I stayed up there in Tokyo. Uh-huh. I took it, yeah. And then uh, that car, that ride home was, I was questioning myself. You know, uh, <laughs> you know That's a long ride from Corona. Yeah, yeah. man. Ooh. And then... uh. And then the next week, I was back at it. Yeah. Wow. Moral of the story, you cannot give up. I know sometimes you may go into a certain situation where you feel as though you're headed in the right direction, but you will have obstacles in your way. But the good thing is, Craig didn't, Craig didn't stop and, uh, and look where he is today. So if you are doing anything, go at it, no matter if it's horrible. Stick with it, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I was working. I had a little trucking company and stuff. So mm-hmm. my first seven, eight years of comedy, mm-hmm. I didn't really progress a lot because I was working 60, 70 hours oh, my, my. on a job. And then at night going to the clubs. Damn. Yeah, I used to think this nigga Craig was coming to tow shit every time he pulled up. Yeah, <laughs> real I tried to get that nigga, nigga to hustle. That nigga, that nigga every called time. me. He said, "Look, I gotta get this money though." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I feel you, nigga. Shit. Oh man, I'm ready now, but yeah, man. So my mentality was different. I think I lost a lot of opportunities because I, I I didn't really pander and play the same type of games. Really, you think so? Yeah, as far as like you know, I think you know. Maybe you're a I was a nigga. Them games yeah. ain't for you. Exactly. God got a whole different set of shit. Yeah. For you. So I don't think you would miss the opportunities. The opportunities wasn't made for you yeah, because yeah. if you was available or not, they ain't checking for no real niggas like right. that. <laughs> right, I was right. available, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga, we, we, we niggas the same shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, but you know, I even had to check a few people on saying that about me uh-huh. well, because a lot of times people will say something like that around the wrong people. Mm-hmm. That look that's what you call a, a a dog whistle. Like if I'm around a bunch of execs or, you know, niggas that really got power and you say, This a real nigga right here mm-hmm. that's gonna make you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've had in front of execs with niggas Wow, really? Yeah, I don't man, I don't know what he talk about, man. I'm an everyday working man. Yeah. With my outlook is for everyday work. My brand is for people who pay taxes right. that are frustrated mm-hmm. and I say the things they wish they could say but they'd lose their wife or their job. Facts. That's my brand of comedy. You know what I'm saying? I know my brand, and I and sometimes I got to tell people because if people can get shit misconstrued and think that's I'm, just an employed real nigga. Yeah, but you got to remember, niggas will try to put stigmas on you so you no, don't get work. Facts. Yeah. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? He'll put stigmas on you so you don't get work. And Lewis, they'll say, "Oh hmm. yeah, uh, uh, he's funny. He's, he's, he's you know he's funny. He just uh, like me with this weed. I'd uh-huh. be like, oh, this nigga." Teddy, we love him, but he just pulls up and he be high. Right. Like they go say that about everybody. Yeah. But he be high though. That was that but he be high. You gotta you gotta When nigga, I did Comedy Central, they was like, um, if you please could just not smoke before you go on camera, because like the camera, we wanna see your eyes. And I said But they don't, don't tell, say but uh, they don't tell superstars that. They, and they don't tell other people who got tight eyes. Yeah. Nigga, That's that, what I'm that saying. Shit. Like, what? Like, somebody hated. Somebody said something. 
I went and smoked an extra blunt, nigga. And did the set that that's already up there, like the mm-hmm. set that was up there. I had an injury that time too. Like y'all not finna tell me not to smoke and I'm performing injured. I think I don't know, and then to your like to your point, Craig, I think I never try to be accepted. Yeah. So it's like I think and that comes from probably my school trauma, my tra- yeah. my childhood trauma. Nigga, when I try to be good or try to <clears throat> be accepted yeah. in whatever the fuck organization. Nigga, I did always fail. So yeah. as an adult, I never tried to do some shit that didn't fit me. Yeah, you feel me? So if it's like if you can't accept me for who I am, and I'm telling you, now I'm not gonna show my hand, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna. You feel me? Act like something I'm not. But it's very important as you as you get older, right, to mm-hmm. know how to separate who you are mm-hmm. from what you do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We 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 make people laugh. We aren't. Like you aren't a comedian. You're That's a real fact. Because sometimes people might have might um misconstrue their life for their everyday like look at rappers. If you look at rappers today, they may may they may not grow up to be a gangster, right? But the way they rap and everything they may take on that persona, you know? So don't be like that. You're just no. a, you're a man that makes people laugh. Yeah. So what happens with, with people who may not be as intelligent uh-huh. is they try to put you into a corner, you into a certain thing, mm-hmm. and you got to dig your way out of it. You know, it's always important mm-hmm. that you know what I'm saying, you're able to take the gloves off and box bare knuckle or put them back on or slap box, but don't just say I'm only fighting one way, nigga, because whatever I got to do, uh-huh. I'm prepared to do that. Oh, mamas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Today, I do MMA. Why not, yeah. Joe? Yeah. Why not, Joe? Yeah. I always, you know, try to go for a business businessman first, you know? Because at the end of the day, the motherfuckers that make the most money haven't been the niggas that told the joke. It's straight up and down. So it's kind of like, and them niggas don't go in there, and they don't got no stigma on them. Right. Them niggas go in there, they stigma is they're a businessman. Mm-hmm. So if I walk in that motherfucker as a businessman... Nigga, it is what it is. And yeah. what I'm saying, what I'm saying, you can fuck with her, you can't. But you know, numbers lie. People you know don't. a quote changes. I mean, okay. People, people lie. Numbers don't. So. I agree. And, and like that's the why the nigga in the room good. usually is the broken. Facts. So yeah. I was like, that shit fucked me up. I almost couldn't write a joke after that because yeah. I was so broke. I was like, let me figure out life first, nigga, before I just. That's the benefit of starting later. That is the benefit of starting later, is you know who you are. Is it like a man or a woman? Uh-huh. Like when, when, like y'all at the age now where y'all realize everybody full of shit. Uh, yeah. I used to think I just figured this shit out <laughs> about a week ago. <laughs> you can't put nobody on the table, including your mama, who ain't been full of shit at some time. Mm-hmm. So when you accept that and you stop looking for people to be great and you just look at them, looking for them to be who they are, it makes shit easier and you know how to move better. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can call now you comfortable calling a nigga on shit that's bullshit. Mm-hmm. But most motherfuckers when they're young, what they do is they don't want to fuck off the bigger opportunity, so they let bullshit fly and dance in bullshit without realizing that it's getting all over you. That shit fuck my life mm-hmm. up. That's that shit you getting in you and all over you. Yep. Facts. You gotta cut that. The more you're around bullshit, it's in you. Now, when you ain't around it, you a bullshit nigga because that's what you've been dancing and you smell like it, you feel like it, and you don't even realize you it. You don't even realize it. You know what Facts. I'm saying? That's why I like the way you move and the way you move. I don't never see you tucking up under nobody's wing for stage time or or you either just doing shit that's... Not, it don't make you a hoe. No, it make you... Not, I'm not... I'm going to let you go. But you got to have your <laughs> own, bro. There's niggas out here I love, like, who I could probably be around if I wanted to, mm-hmm. who I'm fans of, but I'm not. I could be around Tony Baker if I want, he a good nigga, but that, I'm trying to make my own way. Right. You know, I could be around Big Ja all the time, that's my nigga. Mm-hmm. I love him, but I'm trying to make my own way, it ain't no disrespect, mm-hmm. but I, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to get mine too, but you mm-hmm. can't really develop as an artist mm-hmm. if you are self, too self-conscious to be out here on your own failing. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? You want you want to ride another nigga coattail because you feel, you like you know bitches think like this. Bitches will be around a nigga with money and think they got money. Yeah, and be like we straight. <laughs> yeah. We do. No, yeah. nigga, we ain't shit. Come nigga. get us. Yeah, us. Yeah, and that balance for me was the bay. 
Cause I wasn't around comedians. Like the first time I was ever like around comedians was when I got out here. I right. didn't. They wasn't. I'm around rappers, pimps, and hustlers. I'm not. Yeah, I was. So, I didn't go around comedians until I started hanging out comedy. Club. Yeah. So it's like it the niggas like, that was getting money wasn't comedians. Right. So my whole thing was, oh, I know the joke ain't the. I don't give a fuck about being the funniest. That right. never been like nobody in this industry can walk in walk in any room I am and be like, well, Lewis ain't that funny to me. I would I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. I wouldn't give a fuck. Because it don't exist. Ain't yeah. no funniest, nigga. Yeah, it ain't. But it's it's, it's a lot of people in this industry though, that's what they focus is. That's being shit crazy the to me. Yeah. But I understand it because That used to be my focus. I ain't gonna hold you. That's what it's supposed I wanted to, to be though. Right, the funniest joke ever. Mm-hmm. But that's different than trying you to be know? the funniest. Look, the thing is this: it's uh, it's seven billion different people on this planet, and it's that means it's seven billion different realities. Mm-hmm. So no matter how hard you try to be the funniest, it's going. If it's a hundred niggas that, that love you, it's going to be a hundred more that be like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Like I remember mm-hmm. when I started blowing up off that roast me shit, niggas mm-hmm. would say, I don't get it, mm-hmm. and they don't know I know what they mean by that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's, Everybody has a different approach. Everything that I approach is psychological. Like before I do anything, I analyze it psychologically and I try to figure out the psychology behind whatever it is I'm doing. You know why they didn't get it, Craig? Because a lot of your jokes had... A lot of jokes are just set up punch, nigga. Your jokes had accessories to it, nigga. Like your jokes had an awning, nigga, a side door, a pool, like a back door. Like you, you just took... Yeah, yeah. It was just very more vivid. You feel me? Yeah, like you yeah. told some nigga he lost his front tooth in a corn dog bite. <laughs> <laughs> I pictured the bite. <laughs> that's a funny. Real talk. Oh man, season three. I think that's episode five or six. That was funny. It was it was close to the ending episode. It may have been the second to the last episode. Check that out. That was funny. Buddy, yeah. I pictured the bike, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know, this nigga told me I built like a beat avalanche. I'm, <laughs> I see the avalanche. <laughs> Bruh, people still talk about the junk you told me. It was some shit about an ostrich. Oh, some shit, bro. Nigga, <laughs> bro, they like, bro, that's the only junk I hear. Like, motherfucker, just be like, I call me that. Motherfucker, I hardly just get roasted. You know, motherfucker say some weak shit about me. Oh, yeah, yo, yeah. Oh, uh, pretty boy, uh, corny shit. You know, I'm like this nigga hit me with a good joke. I'm like that. I'm like I can't fuck with this nigga, bro. Shout out to Teddy for putting bringing me on this show. Shout out Teddy to Teddy for one, creating the show. Teddy created it and he reached out and brought me on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Teddy is a legendary nigga, man. Yeah, yeah for He's sure. He's a legendary nigga, man. And and it, both of y'all gonna go down as. Some of the greatest to ever do this shit, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. So I mean, you know, a lot coming from you, man. Yeah, straight up, man. I just really wanted to see niggas win, bro. Yeah. Teddy you Owen. know what that roast me moment was for when they told me I could do? That's why I'm not mad at the show. I'm not. I was never was like, oh, whatever, whatever, because niggas really won. Yeah. And that's what I wanted. Yeah. yeah. You put the whole class on. Yeah. I, that's what I, I was like. Niggas really won. Fuck who got the credit. Yeah. Fuck whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't care about that shit at the end of the day. Niggas really won. This man could work, put his family on. This nigga take nine niggas on tour. Oh, mama. Like, 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 he the yeah. earth, wind, and fire, nigga. Like, oh, mama. I'm, I I'm, appreciate I'm you, man. happy for niggas, bro. Hey, t- like, t- you put utterly. Ha- Teddy put half of our class on, man. Damn. With that roast me shit. Yeah, that all that digital shit was big. You know what I <laughs> mean? See, that was like that all that dish, all that shit. That was so, like, a part of the, uh, Part of my process of coming out here, cause I'm like, oh shit, Russell Simmons, feel me? That's like uh, the modern day Dev Jam. It, it so is. I'm like, all right, boom, I get out there and do that, nigga. I never was accepted. Only yeah. motherfucker that fucked with me on that shit was Teddy yeah. and uh, Doughboy. Really, Doughboy too, yeah. cause Doughboy really was more. Big familiar. shout out to shout Doughboy. Out to Doughboy, Doughboy for love sure. you, man. On my mama, he the one, cause he was for me, cause he from up north, he from Sacramento, yeah. so he already knew my movement. So he like, nigga, he was throwing me little plays yeah, and shit. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, I never could have been part of that shit because I'm like shit it's only like two niggas I love everybody yeah I'm, I was, <laughs> I definitely felt like the odd man out because I wasn't in none of them clicks up there and the people had to choose me yeah because yeah, when yeah, I came yeah. up there they thought that's, I was that's, but don't it feel better when man. the people choose you Facts. And, and I'm that's all t- I be like man fuck what, what, I don't care who choose me nigga no, the people. I'm try, I'm, I got God yeah 
I got my family. Fair. I'm good. And the people, and then what I love is <coughs> how they respond to us on the street. Yeah. When you making people laugh, it don't be no dangerous energy, bro. Yeah. I done had niggas move their pistol to the side like. Craig, when they first, when they first got introduced to roast me on YouTube, I started to watch, to watch season three, all of season three, and to this day, I probably rewatched the videos more than five times, to this day because of Craig. Man, Craig is one of the funniest dude I've ever um, seen on YouTube. Like this cuz right here. Yep. Cuz, can I get a picture of cuz? Yep. And that should make me feel good because I want to see unity. I want to see us. I want to see unity in our communities more than anything. And that's Word. that's the plus to laughter. It's like, man, I can make these niggas. I do feel like we got the most thuggish of the fans. Oh, my sure. Definitely. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, nigga, like, the most the thuggish. Coast, like, <laughs> the most hood, I, I know for sure, me. Teddy, Wasomi Kwan, yourself, Slink Johnson. Yeah, Slink got Shout the Shout out to Slink. The big homie. I would say them five got the most gangsters fan base. I like how this nigga introduced me. Street niggas that yeah, love. They love us. They do. They love us. <laughs> I'm telling, like you said, yeah. when niggas moving straps in, yeah, yeah, niggas yeah. be ready to drop tears when they see yeah. me. Also, bro, I'm my mama, nigga. I be fighting hella demons, nigga. When I see you, nigga, I be watching your videos, yeah. nigga. And I'm my mama, nigga. You the only nigga. You know, <laughs> niggas be really bent, nigga. And I be appreciating that shit, though. You feel yeah. me? I be like, like nigga. I be like, that shit make yeah. me feel good, bro, because yeah, I man. know how I. I got motherfuckers that fuck with me that don't fuck with comedians. I don't fuck with comedians, but nigga, I fuck with what you got going on. I and they, okay, be like, I like they give me a list. I don't fuck with niggas. I fuck with Craig. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. I fuck with, yeah. Yeah. I fuck with Teddy. You got to bring the hood hell of me. Bring the fat nigga from L.A. Yeah. Teddy, that nigga, you feel me? That nigga that be roasting niggas. And, uh, and, and Craig. You, you know the ultimate legend that everybody love. Booker Pong. Booker Pong. Shout out to Booker. Booker Pong is oh, a legend. Yeah. He is, bro. Booker Oh my goodness! Everyone loves Spooky Not the watch. They love he that really nigga is. everywhere, man. Yeah, for real. But that's just some West Coast shit too, though. We got that. that. Boo give you that element, like, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but uh, it's always that wild nigga in the hood that don't shut the fuck up. That's mm -hmm. Boo. Yeah, that's Boo. Just a crazy. Every nigga, nigga that's that, got every ghetto got a nigga that or a nigga that can't <laughs> stop talking. Yeah, in his eyes. You want him to shut up, but you kind of don't. Because yeah, it's like, because he's funny. <laughs> it's like a drunk ass uncle. Hey, me and, me and Boo bombed at a, at a roast. <laughs> oh, man. I was never going to bring this up ever in life. <laughs> no, what? man. Teddy did his thing, man. We we, we roasted uh, Anderson Pack and uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Manny Dumb Pac. found it. No, the other nigga looked like Manny Pack on mom. The other, was it dumbfounded? No, the other the nigga that uh, is on tour with Anderson Pack, Bruno Mars. Oh, he looked like Jenny Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> we we roasted them in Buku Pong. I got up there just I could see it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna happen for me. So I I bowed after out after two or three jokes. Buku Pong bombed for twenty five minutes. Damn. Right. And when I tell you it was the most incredible bomb I've ever seen. Damn, and he bro. really was like, and you know how a nigga. Like ODB or something, like a nigga that really think he he's saucing it in his mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and then on oh, my final joke, <laughs> like yeah. twenty minutes in, bro, we got Willow Smith in there. It's like real Hollywood in there, you know Man. what I mean? Yeah. And he went up and just talked about both for ten minutes and murder. <laughs> yeah. I did like three jokes on Anderson, and then I was like. But Boo, what the fuck was you talking about? <laughs> nigga, like, Boo right made it easy for me. Like, yeah. really, really. Oh, that was fun. Shout out to Anderson Pack, man. Damn. I, I, I tell you what, man, I think I know greatness when I see it, right? Mm -hmm. And to watch him perform on his birthday, bro, is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. This nigga is the lead drummer and the lead vocalist in his band, and he don't miss a beat, bro. It's like, not one. It's incredible. Not one. Shout out to the bro Anderson. I was just with him the other night shooting a music video. That nigga don't. He the hardest working nigga. He James Brown mixed with Nate Dogg. If he, if that's it, a hell of a combination, bro. I'm telling you, if anybody's the next Michael Jackson, damn, he got that type of with, juice. with some Mike in him too. A he, little with, bit. He got that type of juice. I, I ain't seen a moonwalk yet. I gotta see how he can't slide. be Mike without the moonwalk. Man, moonwalk is matter. That nigga But legend. as far as his stage performance, bro. Uh-huh, stage presence. Second I done been to a few of his concerts. He had me. I remember uh, 
seeing that nigga. I was out of town. I had a show in Maine. And uh, he had a show that night in Boston. And I just slid to that nigga shit after my shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, just watched his shit. I was just in awe, like, watching it from the crowd. Like, how he just hop up, rap, sing, hop on the drums, nigga. And then, like, he just rotate that shit, like. Yeah. It's like watching Magic Johnson play every yeah, position, it's, nigga. It's like, it's like God, beyond damn. incredible. I need to see it. I keep sliding down. Beyond incredible. But yeah, long story short, this nigga Boo didn't know who was there. He didn't give a fuck. He just bombed. Bro, it was hella like, uh, just powerful. It was one of them, <laughs> like, it was one of them audiences where like, you know, it was more rich people than regular people, I would say. Hell damn. You know what I mean? That's not that's not fun. No, not at all. <laughs> he was he was throwing haymakers though. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, crazy! But Blue will get you on some shit. And the thing about Blue, he doesn't have a he he doesn't care. It doesn't phase him if he bomb or not. He's gonna tell us jokes. That's what I like about Blue. You're like, all right, now that was funny. No, he gonna do some dope stuff. Yeah, nah, that know. was funny. Yeah, yeah he been calling crazy. me a, a, a red lobster cheddar biscuit for the last <laughs> month and a half. Red lobster cheddar biscuit. <laughs> 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 Bro, that nigga had me rolling one time. I seen that nigga before. It was somewhere. I forgot where the fuck it was at. But that nigga, uh, this nigga talk, he tell a story. It was just hella funny because I was new to being LA type shit. And that nigga's like, nigga, I was on Florence, nigga, flaming, nigga. Yeah, 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 he yeah. nigga all red, flaming. Yeah. Nigga, I'm like, this nigga telling a joke. <laughs> he got the crowd laughing. I'm like, bro, this nigga crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, he got that type of presence. You meet that nigga once, you'll never forget him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you meet that nigga, you probably, I don't know, bro. My first. Three times I seen that nigga, he was getting kicked out of somewhere. Yeah, he one of those. Like, bro. back in the day, it used to be bad. Like, it, Boo was getting kicked out. Now Boo can kick it. I don't yeah. know, you know, his energy got better. Mm -hmm. And shit, now he he understand, like, nigga, you was doing the most back yeah. then, nigga. Oof, that nigga bro. was getting kicked out, nigga. Like, the comedy club every... Comedy is a very square-ass uh, industry. I agree. Ran by nerds? Ran by nerds. I think it's only like 10 hood comedians out of this whole industry. <laughs> I'm a relationship specialist, I am. Yeah, I'm not even a hood comic, bro. I'm, I'm not just... even going to say hood, but I'm saying, when I say hood, I mean nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if I'm talking rap, nigga, it's, you know, Lil Baby is a nigga. Yeah. Uh, what's right, the name? Right. Whoever the fuck, I don't even know. Russ. Russ Lil is baby not a nigga. Russ. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like fucking, what's the name? Bro from Chicago. Uh... You got G Herbo, and then you got the other nigga, Chance the Rapper. Right. It's like they all black men, but yeah, there's a difference know. between being black and being a nigga. You know what it is? It's like 10 niggas in the comedy, and then everybody Chance else. Chance might give you some nigga moments, though. No, nah, everybody yeah. got a nigga moment. That nigga was, he had some, some gangsters with him. I was like, some, some praying gangsters. Yeah. Well, I mean by nigga, I mean, would you be cool in high school? No. It's about 10 niggas that probably was cool in high school. Right, right, right. I wasn't cool in high school like that, nigga. Niggas knew me, but I wasn't cool. What do you consider cool? Because you could be a cool, chubby nigga that's hella funny, that be chill with the weed and be fucking with your little hoes every blue moon, and then you a player-ass nigga. Right. Cool don't mean you talking a lot. Cool mean, nigga, you can go and slide and... Nigga, me and you could have went to a party and fucked around the whole shit. Right, okay. Nigga, if you, if we lived on the same block, we would have went to the party, nigga. Then we would, you know what I'm saying, fucked yeah. around, then we would have made it back. Nigga, if niggas wanted to chunk them, we would have chunked them. We would have fucked with some hoes, we would have fucked with some hoes. Right, 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 right. Being able to be around. Okay, I guess I was I was in social circles and shit, yeah. Was so. you outside? Yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> All right, you just pulled off a miracle when you got grown. Because, yeah. nigga, this nigga be outside as a dope. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, comedy is definitely full of uh, socially awkward weirdos. And they really like only fucking with niggas that they ain't intimidated by. Why is that? I think, I don't know if they equate masculinity with fear. I don't know what it is. But I find myself sometimes having to suck my chest in a little bit. 
Because my natural disposition may seem like I'm tripping, but I'm not even tripping. I'm a nerd. <laughs> I'm a nerdy nigga. I read. I like weird facts and shit. I'm not but no your t- chill shit be looking so like, yeah, I'm like, I don't no fuck t- with niggas. It be like, nah, I'm chilling. It just don't be that. I, yeah, it, it's, I don't know, man. It's weird in that way. And I don't know why it's like that. I think what happens, what's happening now, starting with our generation, mm-hmm. and it started a little bit before, mm-hmm. when you get sprinkles of real niggas like a Mike Epps who mm-hmm. got to that superstar level, mm-hmm. and you know, uh, my boy from the Bay, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Cooper. Mark Curry. Mark Curry. Mm-hmm. You know, he's just like, re- you know, real black men. Mm-hmm. But they don't they don't necessarily seem like system niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. they seem like like Mike Epps, Corey Holcomb, these are niggas. When I first what made me want to do comedy is seeing Mike Epps and Scruncho at the Ontario Improv in two thousand seven. Swear. Because I had never even though I met Jamie Foxx when I was a kid, I wasn't a man yet. Right. Mm-hmm. But I had never met uh, somebody who did comedy where I was like, Oh, that's that reminds me of me, or that's somebody mm-hmm. I would have hung with. Mm-hmm. It was always like, you know what I mean, real nerdy, real real skinny or whatever, big or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? But it wasn't no normal, everyday looking niggas I felt mm-hmm. that wasn't that was just regular motherfuckers. That's what I mean by niggas. Right. That's how I felt about Duval my first time seeing him. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. Because uh, his Twitter, if it wasn't for Duval's Twitter, I probably would have never tried to write a joke. Really? Damn. Yeah. Because it was like, it was the way he was saying shit on Twitter every day that made me laugh. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, this nigga's just basically writing jokes every day yep. in front of our faces yep. type shit. And I, you know, after a while, kind of that, I, I, I took that nigga formula in, as far as, that's how I tried to train myself on how to write jokes based on yeah. his Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Damn, that's wild. Yeah, for me, it was Mike up So Then when I started doing it, did this happen to y'all too? When you start doing comedy, you start realizing, oh, that nigga's a genius. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, but before you did it, it just, you, it didn't make, it didn't, you know, like I didn't think <clears throat> Dave Chappelle was a genius before I started doing Me comedy. Me neither. Me neither. I didn't think uh, Corey Holcomb was a genius before I started doing comedy or. It's a lot of genius motherfuckers, which makes me understand why niggas' mentals ain't right out right. here. Because uh, genius and. Insanity is, is yeah, I think a lot of comedians nigga. are genius, though. We evaluate things on such a deeper level than the average person. The other day, I was watching National Geographics, mm. and I saw a cat sit next to a riverbank cleaning itself. To a normal motherfucker, mm. that's a cat mm-hmm. sitting next to a river cleaning itself. Mm-hmm. But then it came to my mind, oh, Wow. Two creatures could be doing the same exact thing, mm-hmm. but for different reasons, right? Mm-hmm. So if that was a deer cleaning itself by the riverbank, he would just be trying to get clean. He probably would jump in the water and get out, uh-huh. right? But for a cat, it's different. A cat, I believe, when a cat's trying to clean itself, it's trying to get the scent of whatever its last kill was on its body so it can get closer <coughs> to whatever it is it's trying to hunt. Mm. Because if it was just trying to clean itself, it would have just jumped in the water. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I'm I don't following. know if you're following me. I'm following you. Okay. So, so two things doing the same thing could be doing the same thing for different reasons, but it depends on where they land on the food chain. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You be getting niggas that go up to the Monday night mic every, or the Monday night shit every Monday. Uh-huh. Some niggas is up there a little higher on the food chain, and they're there to perform. Yeah. Other niggas are there to knock a bitch. Yeah. Mm. Other niggas are there to hang out. Exactly. Show and fit off. We in the exactly. same place yeah. doing the different same motives. thing for different reasons. Yeah. A normal nigga ain't gonna think no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so you gotta realize where you are on the food chain. Oh my mama. Mm. <laughs> that's some game. Nigga, that's where that's where this game will change you, nigga, because you'll be humble. You'll think you the shit, nigga. And you pull up in your new uh 320. Beamer, oh, I'm the shit. And then here come Mike Epps in a motherfucking Bentley. Yeah. And then here come somebody else in a motherfucking Lamborghini truck. Yeah. And they will take your bitch. And they will take your bitch. Yeah. You know, real yeah. spill. And won't even be trying to, just on some... Matters what bitch you with. Matters what you <laughs> told the bitch, too, though. We ain't finna make it, you know what I'm saying? Cause... You, hey. <laughs> this nigga Lou made it seem like they took his bitch I done had rich nigga. niggas hate on me, man. Oh. Instead me... You know what I'm talking about? Game you can't buy. You know what I'm talking about? 
You understand me? So, <laughs> yeah. matters what bitch you with, matters who, what nigga the bitch with, you know what I'm talking about? Matters what he talking about, what you smelling <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about? All type of shit, man. Right. Money. Money. What, what do y'all feel about uh, uh, Michael Blackson? He just said some shit on uh, the Shannon Sharp show. He said basically like on some... Um, when you got money, you can have a hell of hoes? Basically, yeah. When you got money, you... Uh, Motherfuckers value your opinion Or when you look like money He said He he understand why people in LA and Hollywood I'm not gonna say LA In Hollywood Fake it till they make it Cause Say if you uh, Dress nice And you pull up in something raw People will take your business more serious Versus if you Don't got it How right. y'all feel about that? I mean I'm gonna tell you like this Whatever you gotta do To get in the door mm -hmm. Sometimes You get a For you if you have a dream that you want to be successful, you have to uh, you have to take on that mindset. You have to have positive affirmations that you can do it. Whatever you want to do in life, you must be able to be on that elevation to know that you 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 are there. You are speaking it into existence. So you have to train your mind in that stream, you know. So you some sometimes you gotta fake it until you make it. That's just what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Wow. For me, I the only thing I ain't doing is gay shit. Yeah. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I go back to I go mm -hmm. buy a truck and get back on the road. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. Yeah. But I may have. <laughs> I may, you know what I mean? I, so, I feel like you be like that all the time. Like you, I get back on the truck. I get back on the truck. <laughs> like he be this close to quitting all the time. Yeah, Fuck around. Yeah. Oh, mama. So that's, that's, I five. Yeah. Man. Ba -ba. Me, <laughs> but if you're faking it till you make it, you better have some real talent, cause you gonna get in the door. People gonna give you a shot, but if you don't deliver it, that could be your own. You know what I mean? It could be over for you. Mm. So whatever it is you're trying to do, you just gotta deliver. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. I see what you're saying. No matter how you get in the door, it's about you gotta bet. So you think, of course, you got a better chance of getting the door. Bro, I done had showcases yeah. with holes in my shoes. Mm -hmm. And have won against niggas with brand new Versace shoes, nigga. Straight up. It's all about the nigga. Yeah. And who you are that night, nigga. Like, who you believe, like, what do you believe in? Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, it's not about the fit. Now, I have learned, yes, business-wise, mm -hmm. nigga, dress it up, nigga. Mm -hmm. I was on some... I think I'm gonna wear holes. I'm gonna wear holes in all my shoes. Like I had that kind of yeah, spirit for a minute. Mozzie shit, huh? That's how Mozzie. Yeah. <laughs> Mozzie was mobbing until he made it, nigga. For real, Bruh, Cause it's it's a mental thing. Cause you don't want to get too. Uh, you don't want to make it seem like this is this, this nice ass watch and these shoes yeah. and this the reason why they fucking with me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You but know, me, I, I really wanted to be floor. like my comedy is why they fucking with me, not mm -hmm. the shit. Mm -hmm. I was sleeping on my version of the shoes was sleeping on the floor. Uh huh. I, I didn't sleep in the bed for like a couple of years. Mm. Cause I got to be uncomfortable. Facts. Hey, low key. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> I got to be my uncomfortable. My uncomfortable is just being in LA. Yeah, yeah. That I'm having it my way. Yeah. Where I'm from, I can be, I can be a motherfucking, the route I was going, I could just be a big legend, have my little Camaro SS and buy yeah. a chain and be the nigga. Yeah. Or take it to the next level and try to really get rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, sacrificing some money was the sacrifice for me. I could have been financially way more stable in my early stages if I would have just been doing all the local shit. Right, you know? right. But I had to take a like, all right, nigga, let me, let me move and, and sacrifice some cheese. So that was my sacrifice. And I'm like, man, that's hard. Teddy, you think you would have ended up in L.A. if you was from somewhere else? Hell yeah, you would have. Uh... Low key, I don't know, bro. I was born out here and I moved to Florida and came back. So, like, I, I yeah, I just, it's just, this shit is magnetic, nigga. Like, yeah, I think I ended up here too, man. Bro, hell yeah, bro. You gotta understand how I look. I'm from California and I looked at LA like, nigga, like a movie. Nigga, because I, I ain't had no family. I ain't grow up coming out here and none of that shit. So, nigga, I came to L.A., nigga. I was like going to New York to me. Right, right, nigga, right. Nigga, I ain't been to New York, L.A., none of that shit. Yeah, Niggas yeah. went on some Universal Studios type yeah. shit on some little kid <laughs> right. shit. But yeah. not on no nigga. I'm bouncing out and knowing people and doing shit. That's how we was at the bank. We went to Fisherman's Wharf, nigga. We oh, took that little yeah. boat trip went around Alcatraz, yeah. nigga. Yeah. And that was it, nigga. Yeah. 
He wasn't hopping out saying Frisco like that. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't, I don't think I done that shit you said you did in the bay. Burst you like did. We, me and your mama talked about it. Oh, we talked. So I was baby. Cause you, <laughs> <laughs> Cause she, oh, see, I no. forgot how she got to describe it to you. You be like, oh, yeah, that shit. Yeah. Because if I say the name, you don't know what the Damn, fuck it I, is. My parents was doing all the dumb shit when I couldn't remember. <laughs> exactly. Disneyland trips and White House, all that. I'm, I'm 16 months. <laughs> I'm well, seeing you don't pictures. Remember. Yeah, I'm seeing pictures. Like, man, this is. Why did they say we went to? Yeah. Uh, why yeah. can't we go down? Shit. <laughs> I remember my parents taking me out of state. Like, we went to Atlanta, and then shit, family house with uh, Texas and shit like that. And that ain't that ain't crazy. Right, right, <laughs> but, man. Yeah, shit. But you got to. I see went to it. the Bahamas as a kid. I went, oh, went on big. the cruise. We went to Miami. And then we got on the boat on the cruise and we went to the Bahamas. That shit was wrong. That's big. Yeah. So I don't remember. I remember my little baby local shit, but I don't remember going to motherfucking San Francisco, getting on water. I don't remember that shit. Man, that's real. I don't recall that shit. Bahamas is big. <laughs> you ever see niggas that be like, that had never, boys. never, you know they never left the hood? Like, they yeah. never left. Oh, yeah. And you be like, damn, like, you feel like that shit matter? Like, Bro, that Traveling shit as a kid, bro, that shit matter a lot, bro. That shit. Cause like, bro, I want my kids to see shit. I used to come back. I would be scared to tell homies about going to the museum on the weekends. Like, mm-hmm. I used to oh, go. you do shit with your family? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, you went to go learn with your mama this weekend, Damn. nigga? Damn. That's some real shit right there. That's some real shit. To be honest, if. If you, if you're talking with persons around your circle that didn't really experience a lot in life, that can pull you down because if you listen to what they say, they can influence you in a negative direction. So you gotta be mindful who you hang around. So, man, that's something eh? that could be that could be scary. Or come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that Basically, traveling as a, a at an early age really matter. I think so, man. Environment is everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ever get a prostitute off the track, man? You get her at the gym, she feel like a regular everyday specimen. Yeah, yeah. That's why you got to keep them in the field. You know what I'm oh, saying? Because they start morphing in new day environment. Yeah, wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got a lot of nerves around cool shit. Now they think they cool. What like hey. what you was talking about? You're around something cool. You're a fucking nerd. Look at the people <laughs> that certain people put on. I ain't going to say no names. Uh-huh. But go in the East Circle of Established Comedians and then look at what's around them, and that'll fuck you up. You feel what I'm saying? You think somebody could put somebody on? I don't think somebody could put somebody no. on. No. Oh, well, hold on. It depends. Eddie Murphy put on Chris Rock. Eddie Murphy put on a lot of dudes, so if really? at a certain state, yeah, I you know certain people can get, can get you a deal, bro. Certain people can make a call and get you a deal. Okay, Gerard Carmichael could get you a deal. Okay, right I, you you right. Niggas can put you on. Yeah. Niggas can't get you hot. No, that's what a nigga can't do. I can yeah. give you opportunity on opportunity on opportunity on opportunity. <clears throat> I can't make these people fuck with you. The people. Yeah, yeah. That's what's getting hot, nigga. Like the people now, you know. Like how Thug was like, okay, this is my nigga Gunner, and we like, mm-hmm. oh no, I fucks with Gunner now. Yeah. Like, but all the other niggas Thug was trying to get hot, and I can't get you niggas hot. Yeah. All y'all gonna be on slime, you know? Y'all yeah. go hard. Yeah, you're right. That's a you good know? point. Yeah. Cause I've been having this mixed feeling about putting on. I don't. It's hard. I don't think somebody could put you on, but I feel what you saying. Yeah. Cause motherfucker could put you on for sure. I mean, you know, you can give a person a shot. Like you gave me that spot at the Improv a couple months ago, and from that, some other stuff came. But that's just that's just how business work. I believe, right? Yeah, but you, I feel you. But sometimes it takes somebody that's on the same vibe as you mm-hmm. to recognize something in you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's different. Like, I feel like we all bring something different to the table. So, mm-hmm. like, you understand that difference in me and vice versa. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it's another style, like, if if Ryan Davis was hosting Mondays at Improv, I probably would have never 
perform there. Not because uh, nothing wrong with Ryan Davis. Uh-huh. I know what you're talking a about. a different type of guy than him. Uh-huh. He's not going to be able to see that there are people funnier than him mm-hmm. that are that are way... You understand what I'm saying? And I'm uh-huh. not. I'm just using him as an example because we're uh-huh. different, but uh-huh. you know, I, I can say that. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Or if a Kevin on stage was the host there uh-huh. every Monday, I would never get it. <laughs> because I'm just too... I see what you said. You know what I mean? But I D-Ray and you, you, I got action. That goes back to niggas. Right. Right. We all black men. That's what we are first. We all black men first. But, nigga. Black man, black man. We black men, right? But, nigga, right after that. Boom! Right, right. after that, nigga. Right, right. And this that- nigga's black man. Then that white man after that. Then they some other shit after that. Then niggas some whole other shit after that. I'm not right. saying the. The, these men as an individual we just currently talk about but I'm just saying people in general after after the skin tone what are you after that right you right for me you're a man before anything facts or if you're a woman you're a woman before anything you see it out your own eyes I can't be like I'm black it ain't until you look at your hand you know certain you people, I know I'm a black man when I walk outside I'm just saying nigga especially just California awesome. Ah right, shit, nigga. But, like, some of these niggas. But yeah, I know what you said, nigga. I try to be like uh, we all men. You just seen what the fuck just happened <laughs> with the motherfucker that just ran up in in the grocery store and shot all the black people. Bro, yeah. that shit had me hurt. Nigga. So what I'm saying right. we can all try to be. We ain't niggas. And we all men, and then we black men. No, we black men we first. Black, yeah. And then right. we can be where the fuck we want to be after. Right. So if we want to be politically correct, I, I'm probably a black oh, man, man first and a family man second and all the layers. But I'm saying we talking about just being at the improv. Okay, guys, you're talking too much, too much. Let Craig talk, bro. Right. You know I'm a I'm a <laughs> right. I'm a nigga to these people. Right, right. And right. and I'm not devaluing myself, but I know how y'all. Yeah. I done heard niggas in our business. But the call me, oh my god, you're smarter than what I thought. So what me you too. thought I was? But white but nigga, but white you folks, see what I'm saying? white folks understand <laughs> niggas better than most niggas do. Facts. <laughs> That's why all the great comedians, the great greats, are niggas. Mm-hmm. Richard Pryor is a nigga, nigga. <laughs> nigga grew Eddie, up in a brothel. Uh, nigga Eddie Murphy's a nigga, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Was a <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm Bill Cosby's a nigga, nigga. Bernie Mac is a nigga, nigga. So it's like. In our generation and a little bit before, there was this misconception that you had to be this crossover ass motherfucker, and that ain't what it is, bro. You just got to be strong enough to be who you are until your time comes. You see what I'm saying? You can't keep morphing into the hot nigga. You see what I'm saying? But these niggas ain't got it. They they these niggas lead with their insecurities, bro. But I honestly think a lot of people are really are who they trying to be. Right. I think our generation of comedy, I think I see everybody molded into who they really are. I think, you know, it's be waves and shit, and everybody try to adapt to the wave, but after the waves, waves be like two, three years, and then people go into some whole other shit. Right. People be who are, like, who they are type shit. I mean, you know, I think I just think it depends. I think y'all generation is the most flexible, mm-hmm. because y'all appreciate more shit, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my generation of comedians, even though we've been doing it for about the same amount of time, mm-hmm. but a lot of niggas... Yeah, I was finna say, Craig, you act like you just came up in the 80s or but, something, but nigga. The thought, but the thought... You was at the same niggas, open mics, nigga. Like, it, 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 real spit, though. I started uh, October 2010, so I ain't been doing this shit oh, that long. Shit. I started April 24th, 2010. Yeah, so, we, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he started before me. Mm-hmm. But you'll remember that. There was certain niggas running around here thought you shouldn't cuss. I'm gonna be a clean comedian. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my fucking life, bro. Why you want to be a clean comedian? Because you, you think you'll get more opportunity? Yeah. That That's not how that work, nigga. That, they think they're going to be higher up the list. You got to be funny. You got to be funny, bro. And funny requires a lot of risk and reward. Mm-hmm. Some nights you're going to kill. Mm-hmm. And some nights you may take a risk and mm-hmm. try to work on some shit. And it may not go so great. Thanks. The great niggas ain't scared of that process. Mm-hmm. Mm. In my opinion. Mm. <laughs> I feel Cause you. Cause that's painful. It is. Cause a lot of niggas, you know, they'll repeat a set that works and be like, "Good, I got, I got, I got, I got it." D. Ray just said that shit last Monday, and nigga was like, he 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 like, he he was just basically on the stage, basically saying why he like uh, 
freestyling and why he like my style a lot because it's just like niggas just talking shit sometimes too like talking shit is funny it's like what made you realize a lot of motherfuckers just get a set and stand to it but it's like that's not the naturally funny motherfuckers though that's like by the book it's so many by the book comedians where it's like it's so many of them you think oh shit i'm supposed to be by the book niggas was you know what made me get rid of my set one i kept losing my joke book two Mm -hmm. niggas was biting yeah niggas if they figure out your rhythm every time and figure out how you finna do shit like yeah, they're going to bite like a motherfucker. Right, you just training the next nigga very well mm-hmm. on how to tell your jokes in another city. Damn. And you'll never know. That's what just happened to me. <laughs> Somebody was telling your jokes? Like, nigga took, nigga st- told the whole joke. Who? It's irrelevant. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. but we, we did a show, for sure. Yeah. And then shit, we did a show. And then the next shit, <laughs> shit, 48 hours, this nigga saying my joke. <laughs> I had that shit happen in I'm front like, of me. Damn. I think that's why I start saying way out shit roasting style. Because my set, my, the next set I'm working on is just an hour of roasting. That's right. But wrong. turning the roast into bits. Uh-huh. Right. That's right. You wrong. know, 10 roasts and then a bit about, a bit. 10 ro- that's the my that's the style of my whole next shit. Mm-hmm. I've been seeing niggas... <laughs> Saying some shit I just said 30 minutes ago. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't even get mad about it no more because I know that I came up with a style where I'm going to take you in such deep waters that when a nigga do bite, y'all niggas going to be able to say to everybody, that sounds like some shit Craig would say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's been happening like a motherfucker. It's been happening. That's how you know you're on something great. So, you know, so all you biting ass niggas, I, it's cool. I ain't tripping, man. But my shit ain't red monkeys or evisos, nigga. My shit gonna get better and better. It ain't gonna go out of style. So come up I with I got eczema, nigga. I hope skin falls <laughs> off your mouth and you bite. <laughs> and choke you, nigga. Hilarious. That's I hope crazy. a scab shoot down the back of your throat, nigga. That's what <laughs> <laughs> Every time you bite, nigga. Hey, you yeah. know what ain't fair? I've been working on this. It's worked two out of five times. What? Mm-hmm. I gotta choose bitches different, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause women, I feel like women are getting more manly. They are, and niggas is getting more feminine. And like, I, you ever find? I found out my bitch had a record. You know what I'm saying? I found out this this bitch raped a nigga. Uh, that whoa! Ain't a bad thing. I was finna say that ain't a bad thing. <laughs> That's cool. That nigga said, "Whoa!" <laughs> whoa. What would you do if you that found ain't a out bad thing? Your- <laughs> Look, bad thing? Look. what would you do if you found out your girl raped a nigga? That's rape crazy. Another nigga or rape? Like he called you? Like are you with? Are what you are we with talking? We talking about like a? It's it's it ain't nothing wrong with a bitch being aggressive. I'm talking about the bitch dick. raped it, nigga. Like, like she cl- she clobbered him and took the ass from him. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know it was that. <laughs> what would you do if you found what? <laughs> oh, you a sick nigga, Craig? What you would you find out? Nigga. What if you found out your bitch was raping niggas? Man? Oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> you done? <laughs> Done. That's what you ruin your rap. You stay with her. <laughs> nah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I like you a little too. Ain't raping me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga stupid. But look, that's the. I difference. tried to pay the bitch bail, Bruh. But that's how different shit is now, man. That's the mentality. Like every <laughs> things that seem like impossible are really happening every day now, nigga. Bro, they just had a congregation, uh, congressional hearing about. 150 UFO sightings, nigga, that they've been seeing and ain't telling us, nigga. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. That's I know they just slapped the air tracker on them UFOs, nigga. Let's see them where they went. Yeah, I see. I'm it. afraid of the future for sure. This is I. Don't be afraid, nigga. Just, just keep getting that bread. I seen the UFO future get I. repoed, nigga. Huh? I seen the UFO get repoed, nigga. Bro. That was crazy to see. You think they still like catalytic converters, nigga? nigga they gonna what? strip the fuck out of a UFO. You know what I feel like was really going on in life? I feel like it's a curtain somewhere like this mm-hmm. that you could pull it back, mm-hmm. and they're watching us live this life. <laughs> like, nigga, yeah. you, you might be up for an Oscar in a different dimension right now, not even know it, nigga. Your performance, you out of your mind. You don't even know you perform. Like I feel like it's some something is watching us do what we doing right now. I ain't gonna lie, it's something going on. I feel you. I see where you going because everything getting hella expensive. Gas finna be damn near ten dollars. And you know they talking about making the uh, you know they already over there 
on the other uh, planet. Jeff Bezos and them niggas, they talking about going on the other planet. They've been going back and forth. Funded by the, by, the, by the government. That's what I'm saying. They probably, you, if you probably left on this earth in like 2060 or something, you uh, probably ass. See, I think that Corona. We're going to have to leave this motherfucker in a minute. Corona was a union strike on the other side. Whatever the other side is, the writers and behind the scenes niggas was on strike. Uh, you feel me? So they mm-hmm. said it was Corona, but really. The writers of the, the earth. Writers of the, whoever watching this was on strike. It's something deeper going on, bro. And that's why everybody hopped on their phones. They had motherfuckers running, bro. This shit was crazy, bro. That pandemic shit, 2020. Bro, motherfuckers just acting like that shit just wasn't this shit. Crazy shit, bro. Bruh, niggas got rich and po and rich in the same. Yeah, we and still in the beginning phases of this shit, yeah. bro. Shit going up a little bit, motherfuckers panicking, nigga. It's gonna go up some more, and, and then it's gonna yourself, crash. That's just and man. then it's gonna be a, a little low key purge, man. That's you don't think shit. the pandemic was fake? Mini, almost mini little baby purge. No, it's no. gonna be an official one with flyers, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> After party, yeah, nigga. Radio sponsored, big boy. What, was what the up? Whole it's about to be boy. Purge. Letting y'all know. I don't know what the point of the purge. Well, I guess to give you a day to commit whatever crime to you whatever crime you want. The bathroom is all a purge. these smashing grabs and shit, nigga. That's purging. The bathroom is a purge. What you mean by the bathroom? Shitting. Think about this, bro. Why are there doorknobs? Up until, just not, bathroom is just listen. Follow me. Mm-hmm. Up until you want feet knobs. Eighteen, up until the eighteen hundreds, doctors didn't even wash their hands before they did surgery, and the life expectancy of the average human was like thirty, forty years old. Mm-hmm. And we start washing our hands. Right. And a lot of people think that's why we live longer, right? Mm-hmm. So I think that governments don't want us to live as long, so they create doorknobs because they know we got to touch shit. Mm-hmm. And how do you spread germs? Yeah. Through touching yeah. shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And a lot of motherfuckers ain't going to wash their hands after they touch everything. Like, you may you mm-hmm. may touch two things and wash your hand once. So what's the point of that if you touch something, then get your hands dirty, and then don't wash them after yeah. that? You feel what didn't, I'm saying? Didn't Bill Gates say that shit on the interview? He said so. one of them motherfuckers said that shit. Really? the interview, they said uh, before the pandemic happened, it was like uh, the, uh, the U.S. or the world ain't... Uh, Ready for like uh, fucking Corona, basically. You saying right. like you know, my yeah. Bill Gates to, was having like it was a Bill Gates, talk. right? Yeah. yeah, he was basically saying, yeah, nigga. The way you really shut this motherfucker down is nigga through germs, not That's through guns way. and uh, you know how motherfuckers come in and try to fuck some up. Nah, nigga, if they hit us with some shit like Corona, yeah. nigga, we'd be fried. That's but exactly nigga, what happened. If it wasn't no doorknobs, like it, sh- you should have to do everything with your feet. When you want to get in the bathroom door, you should have to. Yeah, they got little on. feet things now. I've been when you want to wash the di- when you want to wash your hands, feet. When you want to flush the toilet, feet. Mm. But you gotta touch everything, and that's how they quarantine us. Niggas who don't have weak immune systems, they get to touching everything, and they out of there eventually. Yeah. The low key niggas who touch everything be living longer. <laughs> Y'all niggas on the street, them niggas yeah. is out there touching the world. Knox be eighty nine, <laughs> nigga. Nigga on the street. I pull up in that yeah, two forty on that day. Hey, all Damn. niggas love that song. Door knobs, nigga. Y'all think that Corona shit went away? Hell, Hell no. Nah. It's it's going up now, nigga. Variants what I'm coming saying out. Is motherfuckers ain't really pushing. I almost didn't like come to this podcast. Me. Motherfuckers ain't pushing issue. They not, Brad. Because niggas getting... want they bread, bro. They been tired, bro. We was really on some in the house shit. Everybody scared to go outside with masks. The vaccine. So you think the vaccine worked? I don't, you know what? A few people have died. Because <laughs> they let Kyrie Irving play basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, if if, we, if everybody's standing what they're standing on, Kyrie shouldn't be able to play. I just think it's, yeah, I agree. I think it's, I don't know, bro. Because I, I got my vaccine. I'm, I feel like I done got played. These niggas done played me out. They done yeah. shot some shit in me, nigga. And I don't even need to show the car no more. No more. That shit, you only needed it for like six months. Yeah. And niggas was showing the fake vaccine. So... <laughs> Nigga, I might be turning green in 2030. Some shit. Nigga, they gonna have probably to put some shit in me. Whatever's next is gonna be crazy. I ain't putting nothing else in me, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no booster, none of that. Because that corona shit, fuck the disease. Just all the shit that was happening. Them shutting everything down. That fuck niggas' heads up, bro. Everybody's mind. It's gonna be a lot more mass shootings. 
a lot more crazy shit. Niggas is like, oh, when is it gonna stop? Peace, you know, kumbaya and all that shit. No, nigga. You know, what, yeah. you know what they need to do to, to keep people safe publicly? They need to take the boom out of guns. You know, when you shoot, boom. Yeah. They need to put a cry. Because if I heard a nigga, oh, like a gun crying, mm-hmm. I feel like more people would get away. Because they would be like, what the fuck is that crying, nigga? You know what I'm saying? The, the gun ain't popping, the gun is crying. <laughs> <laughs> put a different sound in the gun. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. We got to do some different things. I feel you on that. Not with the crying. <laughs> but it got yeah, that's why I leaned back. I was like, I don't know. The gun, I ain't going to lie. Guns got the right sound. Bow! That make a motherfucker move, boy. That make a nigga run. It do. It do. It do. The gun but shots you, is smirk. But you way. would feel like such a bitch if your gun cried. Niggas, niggas would view you as a whiner, not a killer. This nigga always crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just seen them niggas had a shootout at Seven Eleven. Where at? In like Whittier or something. So it was. It was. Two, a... It was Spanish on Spanish crying. Uh-huh. That niggas like, hey, what's up, S A? Uh-huh. Niggas saw each other at the door. <laughs> they the probably was, didn't say what's up, S A. That was racist. Um, no. <laughs> if I'm lying, two Mexicans. Talking about, what's up, S A? What's up, fool? <laughs> that was what's racist. Up, no, it was what it is. It was. They said, what's up, S A? What's up, fool? It was one. It was one of them. It probably was fool. Mexican it was one say of them. Say no more. <laughs> and then them niggas just start dumping on each other, bro. That's why. In the Seven Eleven, nigga, like somebody got hit. Nah. Hey, people at home watching. Do Mexicans still say "essay"? Yeah. They be like, "Damn, fool." They say, they say "nigga." Fool. Fuck that. Fool. Mexicans say "nigga" now. Oh yeah, for they sure. They be like, "Hey, my nigga." <laughs> oh my mama. <laughs> I'll be like, ooh. Essays have changed. Yeah, Mexicans don't say essays no more. Yeah. They show you a picture of their brother. Shit. Like, my brother black, fool. Yeah, they be having cousins and shit. Essays is cool in the motherfucker, man. Mexicans in the Bay always act black yeah. in my time. For real, not out here. Yeah, Mexicans in LA really act Mexican. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're like real essays out here. They, they fuck the, around. They act like essays. Yeah. Some of the, I'm talking about a lot of the newer ones. Younger yeah. niggas. Younger the younger Mexicans. ones, yeah. But uh-huh. the, the ones that I grew up around, the motherfuckers was not. Y'all that. closer to Mexico, nigga. I was, yeah. I was just in Tulum, nigga. It was nigga talking about, yeah, what's up, my nigga? He was like, yeah, I spent time in Long Beach. I'm like, damn, <laughs> that nigga was in Tulum. That nigga said I spent time in Long Beach. <laughs> Like it was a hell of a place. <laughs> nigga, it, it mattered to me. Still, I'm, I'm real, nigga. Oh, you know yeah. English? <laughs> nigga, I'm Jules. I locked in with that nigga. I spent time in Long Beach. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, nigga. I done slid through there too, man. It's always the truth. Nigga, it was chopping game, nigga. Uh, nigga. The place uh, the only nigga that speak English out here, nigga. Oh, mama's nigga. I'm like, what y'all got going on? I showed that nigga some weed hell of shit. I'm like, I got this Sonny blow, nigga. I whipped out on that nigga hella shit. He was like, oh, yeah, I need that. I'm like, yeah, all right, nigga. Nigga, 50. <laughs> nigga, yeah, I need my cheese, nigga. Nigga, 300,000 pesos. Yeah, on my mama, I was to tax that nigga 8,000 for this bag. Did you buy some pussy in Mexico? Hell, no, nah, I went out there with yeah, some yeah. Uh, lovely, uh, beautiful uh, oh, really? uh, brown skin. On oh, mama, for the man. first time. You had a blast. How was that? I had a blast. Oh, you was tricking. Nah, nah, I was uh, keeping it pee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> having a uh, having a great time on some uh, on some birthday celebration shit. Oh you yeah, happy saying? birthday, man! Yeah, you yeah know happy what I'm birthday, man! I appreciate it, man. God damn me, it's a blessing to be uh, 28. You know what I'm saying? Feeling great, 28. Instead of me, but yeah. it was cool. I had a good time. I did uh, Is zip this, like, Tell the truth, was this the first year you felt like I'm really damn near the only nigga that cared about my birthday this year? Nah, I know some grown nigga shit. Oh, what you mean? Like I cared about my birthday? Like you, you know, like it get to a point, nigga, where it just be your birthday. It just mm. for like whoever's closest to you. Uh-huh. That's it, and yeah. that's it, nigga. Uh, like I've been there. Hmm. Like you didn't really post it, or you uh, know, it's like I don't know if you posted it or whatever, but I posted it. I don't know. I ain't now. I don't be it thinking just be getting about to a point where birthday. it just be like <laughs> <laughs> whoever here. That's uh-huh. who. That's who I'm celebrating with, nigga. And, I'm near Teddy. I'm with you. I've yeah. been here, bro. Damn. It just happened out of nowhere. It just, I don't, you know what's weird? Like, as you I said. I used to go all out, invite niggas, and want people to pull, you know? like no, yeah. I've never done that. This is my first time. I feel like this is the most effort I ever put into my birthday this year. Yeah, oh, for real? I yeah. always, I didn't. Well, my you was going out of town. Ass. You was going out the country, really. What, uh, just previously? 
Nah. I just feel like on my birthday. I'm saying for your birthday, you went out the country. Yeah, yeah. Like, I really uh, planned on to do something. So it's like, that was my first time ever doing it. I enjoyed it. I think the pandemic. I don't think he's telling the truth. Tell the truth. He was played a part of that. Yeah. Pandemic realized, nigga, I ain't did shit, but nigga, travel the world, some comedy shit. Nigga, I ain't never just went nowhere and right, had a right. good time, nigga. Yeah. Right. I had a good time as I work. Yeah. But now it's a good time, so that's why I did it. So I'm like, let me put, always, nigga, my birthday always sneak up on me. Yeah. Nigga, always, yeah. nigga, shit. Nigga, all right, nigga, let's go bowling or something. Nigga, yeah. what y'all niggas doing? Like, I fucked around and accepted a gig on my birthday last year. For real? That'd be cool, yeah. though. I love that. I love, it. like, that's what I'm saying. I was happy. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, damn, I kind of wanted to be somewhere just chilling. Uh-huh. You know, at the same time, like, <laughs> but let's get on with this show, nigga. How y'all doing? I performed on my birthday. My yeah, shit landed I on, the, uh, like, on the 9th. I mean, my <laughs> shit landed on a Monday. So I had to do the improv. So I did it. I did it right. Because I'm like, all right, boom. I did my little player shit. Calm shit out the way, and then I perform. So I, I fucked with it. I think I'm yeah. gonna keep doing it. Why not? I think I gotta keep doing something for my birthday. It ain't nothing wrong with it. Man, every year go crazy. But you know, you, at a certain point, I don't know if you went through this yet. Like when you be pursuing your dreams and shit, it oh, it's always a few people that's disappointed that you can't do what you used to do. With them, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like they be, you know, they call you be busy, or they don't understand that you be working. They think mm -hmm. that when you say I'm busy or I can't get back, you know what I mean? They yeah. they thinking it personal. That yeah. that's what's hard to deal with, motherfuckers that fuck with you, mm -hmm. getting the wrong idea. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? How you niggas deal with that? You just gotta. Sometimes, if you. If you have a friend like that that doesn't really understand that you're trying to progress in life and they feel as though you are dissing them, sometimes you just gotta cut them loose, to be honest. Just cut them loose. You know, just keep doing what's best for you, really. Mashing and, and, you know, I, I, I pray you see that this is going to be best for all of us at some point. Because right. if I can get to where I need to get to. Cause a lot of times that what we used to do, like a lot of the homies and shit, nigga, we would just sit on the block and smoke all day, sun up to sundown. Right. And like that, that just don't serve me no more, nigga. Like <laughs> I'll smoke sun me. up to sundown, but it'll be around creatives. Right. Or right. it'll be around people that's doing shit. Like right, right. You know, I got to be around shit that's moving. Yeah. Motion. We just sitting still, nigga. Just talking about old shit, nigga. And, <laughs> Bitches used to come suck dicks in the alley and they just like <laughs> that shit get old. Remember when such just came suck our dick yeah, in the alley? Like, <laughs> yeah, that shit was cool, nigga. That day, nigga. Niggas always talking with their hat, future and shit, so they dwelling on the past. Man, that's I don't real. like all that shit. You no, know, it ain't nothing to that. Man. I, I feel like the older, older I get, the more I I don't know, but I always kind of been like. I've been working on my people skills. I'm kind of like anti-social, so it can come out the wrong way. If uh you you talk to motherfuckers like a lot, yeah, and then it's like your birthday and then you don't talk to somebody like I just spent the birthday by myself like on some like nigga I don't call like I was on some nigga I wasn't calling checking up on motherfuckers and yeah. do all that shit. That's so, what I was saying. Like okay, so you that had that happened, a birthday already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's on what some, I was saying, <clears throat> bro. On some, I'm only worried about what I gotta do type shit. So I'm on that the whole year, nigga. So when my birthday come about, nigga, now everybody posted. So, so I'm like, nigga, that shit brought that shit brought me like to awareness. Like, oh shit, let me start checking up on motherfuckers and shit like that. Like, my social skills getting better the older I get. Nigga, I, yeah. I was on some uh, very self centered, not selfish, self centered. Right. So you know, because all you know is you for so many years. You feel me? And then my shit's like, going in reverse. Huh? Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Not, nah, but they not getting worse. Like I said, you realize everybody full of shit. Yeah. There's some motherfuckers that only tell you happy birthday because they want something in return. Or they <laughs> they only say hello or whatever. Uh, they, they want something in return. So yeah. if you're not giving them what they want, they are gonna stop talking to you. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I fuck with my pop so heavy because that nigga likes me when I was a little nigga about that shit. Just about you know, my dad never been. Uh, he never taught me to run with niggas and, you know, tell niggas your business and just, you know, because he always just laced me like on some like, nigga, you know, at the end of the day, 
you know. Nigga, niggas always got a little agenda. Right. You know, so he always is, you know, you catch my dad, nigga, he, he always tell me, nigga, I don't, nigga, my pops be by himself or nigga with his wife, nigga, my mama, nigga. So he, he always be quick to tell niggas, I don't sleep with niggas. You feel me? So <clears throat> I thought he was, uh, <clears throat> damn, I thought he was over exaggerating. <laughs> you know, it's just starting water. to get cotton mouth. But the, but the older I get, yeah. yeah. The older I get, the more I realize why OGs really be having wives and shit. Mm-hmm. It's like, nigga, I get it. It makes sense, cause niggas. So help me. Niggas go, niggas gonna go with the bitch. Niggas gonna go trick off on some pussy. Niggas gonna get some money and start acting different. At the end of the day, she gonna you, be there. She gonna, I she ain't gonna, gonna, she I gonna, ain't gonna say she gonna be there. You gotta be there for yourself. Right. <laughs> That's real shit. You feel me? Motherfuckers be wanting other people to love them more than they love themselves. Man. People make self love like it's like a negative thing. Like, oh, you full of yourself? Are you? You no, nigga. I love me more than I love everybody, nigga. And hey, you gotta get out. I love me and I love everybody. <laughs> That's some real shit, bro. But I can't love y'all if I don't love me, man. Hey. Cause my love for you is gonna be weak. You gonna be like, damn, nigga, you only love yourself a little bit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, I'm gonna tell you, being around too many niggas, you gonna waste a lot of good ideas. Cause niggas. Every nigga wants to control his own destiny. Uh-huh. And it's in us to figure out how much we worth or what our value is. It's in us to base it on other niggas sometimes. Uh-huh. You may be around niggas and you comparing, okay, what's my opinion in comparison to his? And now you niggas is arguing over dumbass <laughs> ideas, trying to show the other, you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But when it's a woman there, not uh-huh. a, just a regular bitch, but a woman, uh-huh. she can help you cultivate those ideas. Like, baby, I think I want to start a comedy night. Okay, well, well how can I help you? Yeah. Where a nigga, nigga want to try to be boss over his shit and your shit. Yeah. So you gotta really be careful, pops. I, that's some ill shit, pops did. Yeah, no. Nah, so that's why you know, always. And then you get more opportunities being around women. I don't wanna get these niggas too much game, but these my folks. Okay, we kickbackers, but you know, it's hard to, it's hard to get indulged with four niggas. You can go anywhere with a woman, nigga. Right. Mama's nigga. That's that balance though, cause you still need goons. You can have just as many guns with them four bitches that you had with your niggas. I was just finna just, say that, nigga. All that all these Goons niggas. is hammers. Would all you join a gang? Niggas keep me safe. Would yeah. you join a yeah. gang? Yeah. Niggas are telling you. Would you join a gang that had a female leader? Hey, uh, yeah, they get on some Zamona <laughs> shit. Damn, that's a good question. <laughs> nah. Like the, Black pa- like the Black Panthers? Like the- <laughs> Me, I'm not no gang nigga, so I don't give a fuck if it was a nigga, I'm not joining no gang. So but I'm, I'm just saying, like, on some, on some black, if it's like some black people shit, yeah. I'm talking about it's. it's what a, we doing? We gang banging. Oh, no. <laughs> we gang banging and she the run. And the leader got ass and titties. I mean, thick as a motherfucker. I'll no. be fucking with the bitch and damn near be managing the whole operation. <laughs> and these niggas don't even know I'm the nigga that's really running the shit. I'm fucking with the bitch. Like Cash Doll, the leader. The leader. Why right not? Right cash Doll. Kim Kardashian. That's the leader. One of them type of motherfuckers. Ugh, I, I ain't following no Kim Kardashian. Yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm not joining, bitch. I ain't these niggas. So, bitch, <laughs> what we need to do is, I want to fuck with what you got going on with your gang. Right. And let's run this play. Let's see these niggas over here. Right, right. I'm not finna have these. That's like a pimp. The bitch yeah. pimping the niggas. So, are you saying that <laughs> it's not possible for a woman to lead you? No, I'm not saying that. Okay, what you saying? <laughs> I'm saying it. <laughs> I'm saying this. I'm not gonna have no gang member, no gang member, fucking tell me where to go and all that shit. Right, as a right. female, I'm not, <laughs> nigga or bitch, I'm not on that. Uh, but what if your wife asks you to marry her? You gonna marry her? Nah. You with a girl? She got her knees and proposed wow. to no. you. No, no like why Jim not? Jones, his lady did that. I feel it, but nah. <laughs> I feel it, but nah. That's just too. I I got this thing. You with me? I'm not with you. Whatever woman, I'm be, you with me? I'm not with no. So I I don't know. It may be just some alpha shit, cause I just can't see myself following the lead. Yeah. Of even if I'm with my mom, 
I'm a grown ass man. My mama with me. I'm not with my mama. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Mama gonna stand behind yeah. me. Mama, like, hey, mom, we doing this and this. What we I gotta go holler at this dude and we gotta do this and you know what I'm saying. If some shit go down, like nigga, my mama with me. I'm not mama. <laughs> no, nah, hey, mom, what's going? Hold on. You know what I'm saying? So I just with a woman. No, I feel like I'm uh I'm a king. I feel like right. I'm a king and I feel like I can. Uh, you I'm feel a, like a woman can't protect you. I think that's men's job is to protect our women. What about you? you feel like one of you. <sighs> I feel like <laughs> a woman to do a. <laughs> Teddy Green Friday, no. Sometimes better job and protection than niggas can. Just off attention to detail. Right. Now. It's up to the nigga if he pay attention to his woman. I feel Lou, it's your job to lead. Nigga, and you with me. But because you with me, that means I trust you and you smart. Exactly. So I'm going to listen to you. Yeah, your opinion matter like a motherfucker. I'm going to listen to you. Now yeah. look me in the eye and tell me, should I shoot this nigga or not? Right, right. right. No? Okay, I would get a lot of a lot of talk. If you put me in a position where I gotta shoot a nigga over you, I don't want to be with you. Not even that. I'm just talking about like a nigga break in or something like whatever, like whatever, whatever. But like, if a nigga break in, my instinct we ain't talking. My bitch, duck, duck. You already know what's going on. This shit yeah. over with. You already know what it is. So she, but you know, if you follow a nigga out your house, that's more time. And if you just shoot a nigga inside your house, I will want my woman. So this will I will want my but woman. But I'm just I'm leave. just talking bullshit. But right. like I'm take just leave, stop me from leaving this house if, yeah. if it's a possibility. If you see me putting me, my family, anything in jeopardy, try to prevent it. But I'm just saying, you know, nigga, when you be hot, you be when I a feel nigga you. mad, and in the moment, I feel sometimes you. you ain't think about that shit. That's a fact. I'm stupid. That's a fact. So yeah. I need I need shorty. To know the, the what's best for me, right? Uh huh. You know, if all and what's best for me is gonna be what's best for us. Straight up. Facts, cause she with you. Would you let your girl have a a male best friend, a new male best friend? Like she, you've been with her five years. She mm -hmm. just met the nigga a year ago. Hell no. No. Would you? Hell, motherfucking no. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all put a comment with you. <laughs> Top of niggas, top of niggas. Bestie. You you think your woman supposed to protect you in a physical way? I mean, here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. It goes both ways. It We're goes supposed both to love ways. and protect you. Lion, lionesses do it. Uh, so, talk that shit. That's a fact. That's so, a fact. So the balance of nature is not always linear. Like, humans have this ego where we think that shit always happens in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like, we think that we're the most technological, technologically advanced society ever. Mm -hmm. But this shit may have already happened 2,000 years ago and everything got destroyed. We don't know that. That's mm -hmm. why them UFOs keep surrounding us, nigga. Them is uh, alien drones. Mm -hmm. But you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This shit could have already happened. Because mm -hmm. think about this up until this point in your life, how much shit you've seen happen again. We like goddamn. Yeah. So yeah. you think it just that it just that type of shit? Is? Nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so there may be a woman out there capable if if your motor if your me. female had a motorcycle, you getting on her back on uh, the back of the motorcycle? Uh, no, don't feed that bitch. If you don't get the fuck <laughs> off this bike, bitch. I'm gonna tell you one thing, you manly bitch. I'm never riding behind you, bitch. You better go in the relax one time that, and go That's the same shit on. I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's the same shit. No. You know? That's the same shit. We you talking about her, you with her if you get on that bike. If you if she get on on your bike, she with you. <laughs> we talking about she sees some shit I don't see, nigga, and she start busting. Oh, that's cool. I fuck with that all day. Yeah, I mean women yeah. But if you see it, you don't need to run and tell her. <laughs> Baby, I got to go. <laughs> no, just also, like, she got the strap. Oh. Uh, like, nah, <laughs> give me my strap. Yo, my strap and your shit. I'm not borrowing your strap. <laughs> no. <laughs> we got the strap. Nigga, I got strap and it's in your <laughs> shit. Now, you got your own strap, but I'm always at my strap. Right. I'm just...
saying in uh, what's the shit you say? I'm not saying all this shit be going on, but yeah, nigga. you see if what I'm saying? These yeah, is yeah. hypothetical straps, y'all. Exactly. Would you give your girl a pass to fuck another nigga? No. Is there ever a scenario where you'd be like, you know what, baby? I feel like you're used to my dick. Never. And I want what you, you going I through, love, I love you so much mm-hmm. that I let you let another nigga smash. Nah, this the one I'm fucking with. Your girl. Nah, I ain't fucking with that. No. You fucking with that? They don't know, but what I'm saying is this. <laughs> It would, make, it would make so me why are you man. asking us it would make us better men no no it would not Mm-mm. letting other niggas fuck your girl would make you a better nigga uh teddy don't be fooled how how is that because it, because sex shouldn't be as important as it is i agree on you that. feel what i'm saying like it's 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 the last thing that matters because you can get it from any bitch so we covered something that uh that you could get from any bitch. I need to cover things that are if you want to get some new dick, do go that. Holla, go live with down. that nigga. Go stay with that man. For real? Go be be with him. What if he Chill. doing better? What if he got more money than you? And y'all need some bills paid. Hey, no, nigga. I ain't what? got shit to do with ism. Yeah, you can go get that money from that nigga and don't have to fuck. That's what I'm saying. What if she's just hanging out with the nigga? It matters the relationship we got going on. But you talking about the one. I don't want my one on missions like that. I don't want like my that. bitch to be doing none of that coin. For yeah. real? Yeah. I'm on some shit, now, nigga. Now, if I'm fucking this... around, and her fucking around is finessing some niggas on some cheese. If that's what you about, yeah, let's go run this nigga. But, you, but what, how would you feel about your girl going to church and giving your money to a pastor? You cool with that? I don't fuck with that shit. But would you fuck with a broad that's cool with that? She got to give 10% of her, her earnings. It matters what she giving me. She can get a pass or whatever. As long as I, you ain't getting the pass of motive what you giving me. So right. if you get that nigga $10, I should be getting at least a ban at the minimum. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> if I'm getting a ban and you go to church and you feeling good, you get this nigga $10, we cool. But you ain't finna be. This a bay nigga math. <laughs> if you get a pass for $10... I should at least get a band. But let me okay. So what if every time this, what if every time I'm dead that serious? What I don't get about the preacher thing, why niggas is cool with that bra going and sitting up under another nigga. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> because it's still a nigga. Somebody's mic is off and it's really, really irritating. I don't know what it is. It's the, the day, nigga screaming. If, if you was <laughs> screaming and sweating, if every, yeah. time, if every time you walked into a room, I was telling your bitch what's right and wrong. Bitch, yeah. you know you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. You go on and do bitches wrong. Yeah. You're going to be like, nigga, what the, who the fuck is you talking about? Who the my fuck bro? is you? Oh, my but mind. a bitch could go to church and a nigga that you barely know could tell her what, how to operate in your relationship. Yeah. How you know how yeah. to feel yeah, and how all that? How he's supposed to be treating you? That's how you worse than letting the nigga fuck your bitch. Facts. And he didn't end it. She didn't pay the pee. Man, the pee is the preacher. And man. she pay him every time she's seen. Man, he paid that nigga, screaming, ah, crying, all type of shit. It cost because a this fee nigga to fuck talking. With me. That nigga charging a fee to fuck with him. At least a nigga that's just fucking her gonna get up and go home. Oh, mama. You feel me? This bitch, you know what I mean? It's like, nigga, the world is So church is worse than cheating. Church is worse than adultery. Wow. Mm. It's worse than adultery. Should no other man have a word as strong as yours in your woman's life? Period. You ain't never going to win that way, nigga. You got to be the pastor. You got to be. I'm the pastor of my house. That's what I'm saying. That matter. <laughs> y'all yeah. seen the press that talk about Kevin Samuels? How yeah. y'all feel about that? Well, he but how y'all props? feel about people just disrespecting this man in general? Kevin Samuels is a nigga, god. He a legend. R.P. Uh, Kevin Samuels. I like, fuck with him. Nigga, I'm a high value man. Nigga, I know. I can. Yeah. I know what the fuck you talking about. I, man, I all I I'm gonna lose his stomach. But I go- did see your your episode on that. Yeah. I am gonna lose this stomach. But that he go back to that pussy being overvalued. He's just for sure, for sure. I'm adjusting the price of pussy. Facts. You niggas are paying fifty dollars a gallon in gas if it was pussy. Mm-hmm. Right. When you yeah. should be paying a dollar. 
Right. You feel what I'm saying? So all he did, he was a pussy, he was a pussy adjuster, and I respect him. Rest in peace. The problem with women is accountability. Yeah. They think that being a bad bitch with big titties and ass is enough. No, bitch, pussy is not enough. Let me tell you how worthless pussy is. Mm -hmm. Pussy is so worthless that lesbians don't buy pussies, they buy dicks. When last time you seen a porno with two bitches fucking Mm. each other with a fake pussy? Mm. Bitches is buying dicks, but but dicks so bunk. Niggas don't be selling they shit though, right? Cause they don't. Bitches be selling pussy, and niggas be buying it, right? So pussy got clout. <laughs> hey, yeah. let's not play with the pussy. Yeah, cause it always, you know, it's it's gonna be the most interesting thing on the earth till the earth done. But men gotta realize that it's more. Women out here than men. Niggas go to jail. Niggas be dying. All type of shit. Bitches is out here. Right. So niggas be doing all this shit. You don't have to do that. If we all stood on ten toes and dropped our nuts and be like, "Hey, man, you know what I'm talking about value ourselves more as men." Right, right. Women would treat us better. But because you got so many trick ass niggas to do anything for some vagina, that now bitches is talking crazy. Yeah, that's real spit. So it's like. That's what Kevin Samuels was basically standing on too. He was like, "Nigga, it's more women." He he understood that. He was like a baby nigga. That was better vocabulary, nigga. He was like, yeah. "This nigga was saying what well, all niggas in the bay were been trying to tell the world." Now niggas get a little ism. Now niggas pushing p. This ain't the play. Man. Pushing p ain't the play. The play is keeping it p, man. You understand me? And that mean not lying. Stop lying. Stop tricking. And hold yourself to some motherfucking value. It's okay to spread some bread on your woman. Have a good time. Let's have let's spend money to have a good time. That ain't tricking. Yeah. That's not tricking. Let's we see spend, something new. That's if damn you pay for the activity, that's not tricking. It you having a good why, time, you though. probably pay for it. It depends on why you. That's tricking. a good point. If you're spending money to make her happy, that's tricking. You're tricking. No, I always wanted to go to the fucking yeah, San Diego bitch, Zoo. Yeah, there we go. You feel I'm me? going for myself. Yeah. I've been wanting to talk <laughs> to you for <laughs> Bitch, we both want to go to the Miami Heat game. Hey, I so know. I'm <laughs> buying the tickets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, bitch, right. if you want to go get your motherfucking nipples done, I'm yeah. not paying for that. You got to be a good person. <laughs> Look, you can't be a good bitch unless you follow him behind a nigga. Facts. If you're not, you good at being a bad bitch. Mm. Good bitches take orders, man. Mm. <laughs> it ain't no renegade in an animal kingdom. <laughs> bitch, you got to fall in line with something male. Whether it's a bitch that's dressed like a nigga or a nigga, you got to find fall in line with something masculine. <laughs> that's and that's just the way in nature. I'm not creating these laws. You feel what I'm saying? No, real shit, though. And that's just how, that's how it go, nigga. Period, point blank. Yeah. Fall in love. So all you niggas at home, nigga, the woman is with you. All you niggas being with the woman, that's why the game all fucked up. <laughs> nigga, anytime you see me with a woman, nigga, she with me. Beautiful. Nigga, on oh, mamas, nigga. Beautiful. And if the bitch ain't listening to what we own, you don't have to be with me. Yeah, I'm a Because it's I'm more women than men. Right. And that's they know that. that. They know that. Yo niggas, yo niggas been in jail. Yo that's niggas, why they been straight Every bitch to along. fuck with a nigga that's in jail and or died. I'm not saying everybody, but it's a lot in our community. Right. That's why a lot of people not fortunate enough to have fathers and shit. A lot of people fucking arrested, arrested. killed, all type of shit. Nigga, it's hard being a black man. Right. Man. So, bitch, you gonna devalue me? And when it's... Nigga, I'm special to be alive as a black man. Right, right. Bitch, I'm already special. Don't try to act like I'm just a nigga. Now, that's where to just right. just being a nigga. Now, I'm that nigga. Bitch, if I'm alive and I'm in this motherfucking mm. chopping game. He is just talking, though. I'm going to end it right here. I'm sorry, guys. He did it for me. He's just talking. And you could, you could tell that Craig is like just saying, right, right, right. He talking too much, man. But I'm um, until next time. That's my my thought is that it, this video started off good, but then I kind of got lost in the end because old dude was talking too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. I think his name is Lewis.
talking too much at the end, but I don't even know if I'm gonna post it, but if I do, be on the lookout for our Roast Me episode 5 tonight. I will post that tonight, so be on the lookout for that. Until next time, peace.